Yep. Know you a real man. Got the confidence to buy these. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm doing my voiceover, but this right here is the best site I've ever seen. The gym is pretty packed, but these three areas where you deadlift was empty. So I picked my favorite deadlift spot. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm trying to do before I even get into it. I'm filling out my body and see if I have any nagging issues when I um, start lifting. Because you might feel good when you first walk in. And then we start lifting the issues that might have been nagging you before might start nagging you again. So I always start with lightweight, no matter if I'm feeling good, no matter what. Um, if I'm feeling too bad, I won't even lift. I mean, so what? I don't care. And you get one body, you injure yourself. And you talk about all this macho camacho stuff. Yeah, you might be macho camacho that day, but uh, it'll be your last time lifting. Um, also, I'm doing a voiceover because there's nothing but copyrighted music in the gym. So I always got to do a voiceover. So I'm at home in the comfortable, eh, comfort of my own home. If y'all hear baby, um, I'm holding my baby. She's three months old. And uh, yeah, man, she keep trying to grab the phone. <laughs> so it's somebody in the way, you know what I'm saying? Nah. But right there, I'm um, lining the bar up. I like my bar to be even. A lot of people say I live too safe. I live, I could live way more weight if I wasn't so safe, but yeah, you're right. I agree. Checking the um platform for bad spots, but I 100% agree with you. You can live way more weight if you're not lifting safe, but yeah, that might be your last time. I'm also going to bench. I'm going to, not bench, but I'm sitting on this bench in between sets. And I'm setting my stuff right there and all that. It's a strategy that I picked up over the years, um, trying to keep people away from me. So I'm using up that bench without using it. I don't care what nobody say, man. It's so many other benches. Now, if the other benches were were full, I wouldn't do that. So, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm filling out myself. Uh, I think my pants was kind of like falling. It wasn't tied right. Um, right now, I'm going down to the bar slowly. I'm just feeling my body as I'm moving. You got to remember, you're lifting this weight with your body. This is lightweight. This is baby weight. But I want to feel it everywhere. My hams, my glutes. Tie my shorts. I'm I'm just feeling that when you're warming up, my best advice is find problems. Alright, find your problems. So yeah. Making sure my draws right. Yep. Too much information, whatever. But at the end of the day, you do not want your drawers riding up the wrong places when you're deadlifting, especially when the weight gets heavier. So squeeze your glutes, come down. Control, keep your arms straight. You do not want to be picking it up with your arms. Of course, you're holding it with your hands and your arms, but your arms should not be part of the lifting process. Your arms are there just to hold the weight. A lot of people tear their bicep by trying to muscle up the weight with their arms and stuff. It's not about that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a video called How to Deadlift, all that, so I, I break it down, my style of deadlifting. A lot of people also... Before we even get into it, I think, it, yeah, this is the scene I was doing it. A lot of people think a deadlift and a squat are the same thing. A lot of people think a deadlift is a squat from the floor. No, it is not. I was saying two for something. It was two different. Oh, they're two different things. That's what I was saying two for. Okay, let me show you real quick an example of what people be meaning. When you start with your hips high or your hips low, different people have different heights. You know, you might have longer legs, longer femurs, um... A longer torso shorter or whatever a lot of people want you to start all the way from the ground and then pick up people that be telling me that show me a video of you all right if you come in way down here look how awkward that is then before you even start to really pick it up you're gonna have your hips higher anyways so also you don't want your your feet placement right I was explaining it way better in my head you won't want your feet play you don't want to lift with too much back it ain't just legs. It ain't just back. It's your full body. It's a compound movement. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that beg to differ, feel free to, to post a video of you doing it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, I lift with my hips high a little bit. A lot of people, oh, that's not a deadlift. That's a Romanian deadlift. Like, dude, you do not even know about lift. You just told me you don't know about lift. But your feet placement. You want your feet too uh, close or too far, you want your feet in the middle. Too far, make your back too much, and then I was saying it's so much better than I'm not gonna redo that. But y'all can see what I'm saying. You want a straight bar path. See how the bar comes up pretty straight? 
You want a straight bar path. You want to pull it up. You're using your whole body, head to toe. It's not just legs. This is not a squat from the ground. So let's get that out the way. You know what I'm saying? You want perfect form? There's no such thing as perfect form. Form ain't one size fit all. And a lot of times when it seems like my hips are super high, you got to remember my camera is on the floor. Now my upper back is rounded. I can tell you that because I have muscle imbalances that I'm working on. I've been through it before and I got through it before and I know how to do it. How to do it and what my muscle imbalance is. If you don't know, then you can't tell me how to get out of it. So a lot of times I like to like, you know, get down here on the bar like this, like this. A lot of people be talking to me. I be trying to like avoid people. Also, I'm lining up the bar with the floor. And also, let me show you how to put these plates on. A lot of people, a lot of times, because this this gym don't have the right things to put the plates on. There's other methods too. A lot of time I be fatigued. Just when you see me lift a lot of weight and I fail, a lot of times I be fatigued just from putting the plates on. Putting the plates on and taking them off is a workout. And I got to put it on that side too. You want both sides to match. So this is 315. I took a little bit of time, of time between this set. Um, yeah, man. Also put on my belt. You got to remember I'm 174 pounds and I'm in a deficit. I've lifted way more than this at 174 pounds, but I wasn't in a deficit. A lot of times you see people at that body weight that's lifting more than that. Look at my baby. But, um. They lift it more than that is because they're not in a deficit. Just like my bench press. My bench press, I haven't even benched more than... I haven't benched 300 pounds in like a half a year. Probably more than that. Um, Not just from being in a deficit. The whole pandemic. Oh, uh, man. She tried to grab my phone. Can't have my phone. But that was an easy rep. Uh, so I threw on 50 more pounds. Um, I'm also still feeling out my body. Because if y'all see my last deadlift video, I was having a little nagging issue with my right hip not lifting related a lot of people will automatically say that and you don't even know a person like come on man i'm almost 38 i'll be 38 in august i'm almost 40 years old um there's been a lot of things that happened in my life right <laughs> what you see ain't what you get judging the book by its cover so get that out the way i think the first time i just chicken out because i was um i don't know what happened right there I think it was my mind wasn't right. I wasn't ready. If you ain't ready, don't lift it. I don't care who's looking. I film it and I post it just to tell you. If you're not ready, even though it's some easy weight, don't lift it. A lot of people will tell you the opposite. Don't listen to them. If somebody tell you to lift something that you ain't ready to lift to, that ain't the person you need to be listening to. That person is going to get you hurt. Especially if they don't even lift. I see a lot of people making the mistake of listening to people who don't even lift. My son waking up and I'm trying to keep him from saying something in my video. And why I didn't lift it. That wasn't a fail. A fail, I didn't try. My feet placement wasn't right. Um, I, I don't remember if I was too close to the bar or too far. I think I was too close. My shin touched it way too quick. Um, I want my feet to be cut in half. I could have picked it up. But if I feel like if it ain't right, I ain't trying to be perfect, but if I feel like it ain't right, especially when I'm retraining myself to have the form that y'all seen last year, when I was deadlifting 500 some pounds, if my form ain't right, I do not want to reach 500 pounds with bad form. The heavier the weight, the more chances you have to getting hurt. People that don't lift heavy do not understand that. Don't listen to them. Please. This ain't even heavy. Look, watch. Not heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, quick. I threw 20 more pounds on there. I got in a few conversations, but it, it wasn't because of the conversations. Let me tell you before I even do this. I didn't even lift it. I don't know. I was just getting lightheaded and stuff. I don't know. You know, your energy is different too when you're in a caloric deficit. A lot of people will say, well, get out of your caloric deficit. I got goals, man. Personal goals. Right now, my personal goal is to get pretty ripped, all right? To get pretty ripped for the summer. If I get out of my caloric deficit, I'm getting out of that personal goal. And I'm not going to let nobody tell me what my personal goal should be. You know what I'm saying? There's times that wasn't really a fail. I didn't even try. I was just like, man, it ain't right. Leave it alone. Yeah, man. Quit. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get my shoes up. 
for those who've been watching my channel already know what time it is when you see this thing right here it's a pov thing you hook your phone or your camera up to it you hang it from your neck you already know what time it is it's time for some walk and talk cardio i'm gonna walk to walmart and back i'm leaving my car at the gym so let's go ahead and change my shoes my shoes are changed these are the old shoes i had that i showed y'all before i don't have my new shoes with me because i didn't even expect that i was going to do this walk and talk cardio um this is out of plan but like i say caloric deficit on, doesn't only mean eat less calories it means burn more calories too burning calories count into going into your caloric deficit well let's go i'm gonna try to talk to y'all as i uh, walk so all right let's go and get this walk and talk started um shoot shout out to dude i just met a dude gave him my channel name and everything um pretty sure he's gonna watch me and everything he said he got a uh, couple pounds to lose and uh we talked we kicked it uh he said he got a bunch of pounds to lose and i told him man i get you there man i just told him like everything that i've been telling y'all lately like eating in volume um how to count your calories um how to avoid fad diets at the end of the day fad diets can help i'm not gonna even diss fad diets i don't even know what to call it really that's just what they're called like keto and fasting and all that because i implement those things so i'm not dissing um but I, I was teaching them how to do it um teaching them like you know don't over extend yourself don't bite off more than you can chew learn how many calories you personally need and eat there you know what i'm saying if you learn how many calories you personally need and eat there i promise you you will make it now I ain't gonna promise you because at the end of the day a lot of people ain't gonna adhere to it um exactly the way they supposed to you ain't got to be exactly you got to be in the ballpark but at the end of the day you know a lot of people will say they're doing something and then don't do it i don't want to promise you something that you know what i'm saying it's up to you at the end of the day, i can't promise you nothing that's what i'm trying to say you know fitness is personal it's your personal choice you know nobody can't make you do nothing you're a grown man you're a grown woman you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. Nobody can't make just the same way nobody can't make me do nothing. I don't expect to be able to make nobody else do nothing. So I'm gonna do this little walk. And I was gonna um I'm gonna just walk around the parking lot, I guess. I was gonna walk to Walmart, but I gotta I got other things I gotta do today. Uh, I'm probably gonna walk again later and do a longer walk. You know what I'm saying? Ah stay hydrated. It's hot outside today. I do not know how hot it is, but it's pretty hot. But let's talk about my lifting I did today. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier before I started lifting. Um, the last time I did a deadlift, uh, last time I did deadlifts, I had a little bit of hip um, issues, not because of deadlifting. You know. People will see you and then think that everything they see right now is everything about you. Somebody could just meet you right now and think they know everything about you. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand that I've been through a lot in life. You know what I'm saying? So uh, lifting weights, especially deadlifting, I could barely walk before I started lifting weights. Anybody that knows my story, I ain't about to get all into that. You're going to have to go look at my old videos. I used to talk about it all the time. But we ain't gonna get into that because we on some positive stuff right now. Um, but a lot have happened to me to where I couldn't barely walk straight up. You know, you'd be surprised. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's not an excuse. Cause I got videos of me. Never let me give you a tip. When it comes to dudes, when they talk about how much they can lift, let me give you a pro tip. Never believe how much somebody say they used to lift unless you have seen them. It's up to you if you want to believe it, but I don't. Unless I've seen them or they got video of it. Everything that I said I lifted before, I got video on it. And strength is not linear. You're not going to just get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger every year. Because if that was the case, think about it. People that have been lifting 20 years should be the strongest people in the world. They should be beating... Whatever the record is on the deadlift, bench press, and all that stuff, all these roided up people, <laughs> there should be people lifting five times that much if that was the case. 
strength is not linear you know you're going to reach a certain level and sometimes it's going to come down you know what i'm saying different reasons it'll come down um just to name a few off the top of my head consistency meaning are you doing this on a consistent basis if you go a long time without doing it you will lose strength point blank period you will lose strength um or like oh my my advice for that right there before i even get into another reason or any other reasons is this okay let's say for instance you had a 315 pound bench press that was your all-out max right you worked your way up to there you got there safely you did it right kept your butt on the bench four points of contact everything was right touch your chest pause pause on your chest not pause like that i'm saying literally you hold on your chest for a second and press up um all the way up all the way down a clean lift that counts right not a cheat not a cheating lift not a butt coming off the bench lift let's say you had a 315 legit bench press i had a 365 legitimate bench press right imagine i'm talking about you if this was you now go a year without bench pressing at all do you think you're going to be able to do that same 315 in the same way most likely not and my advice would be don't even try to work your way back up most likely you'll work your way back up to it faster because you know how it felt your body's used to it muscle memory blah 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 different other factors you know more about lifting than you did when you first started form all of that cues all of that how to breathe all of that all of that is important just like anything anything that you're good at it's the same thing with lifting let's say you're real good at basketball you know the fundamentals you know the play you know all that stuff right same thing with lifting man it's the same thing with anything training a dog to train to be a good dog trainer you gotta know how to train dogs right you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna just be caesar million off the first time you trained a dog no <laughs> it could be something as simple as flipping burgers right you flip burgers for a living there's nothing wrong with it i've done fast food if i had to i'd do it again i don't want to but my point is my point is are you going to be the best burger flipper in the world your first time flipping a burger i don't know most likely not though think you're going to be flipping like fl spongebob squarepants flip crabby patties on your first try where he takes that passion i'm ready i'm ready he, he loves his job at the crusty crab Oh, that's a fictional character. Man, you, man, dog. It don't matter. It's the point that I'm trying to make. Right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Um, size. Uh, at my best, I was 230. Right now, 174. Mass moves mass. Anybody know anything about lifting? That doesn't mean just because you're heavier, you're going to be able to lift more weight than somebody that's been in there that knows what they're doing. It just means... If you got two people and they're both beginners, you got one guy at 150 and you got another guy at 300 pounds. This guy weighs double, literally, than this guy. And they both start lifting at the same time. Most likely, that 300 pound guy is gonna lift 300 pounds before that 150 pound guy. The 150 pound guy, the odds are against him to never lift that much weight. That's double his body weight. Yes, there's people that can lift double their body weight, but that's extremely, rare on the bench press it's not rare on the deadlift that's not really that rare on the squat it's extremely rare on the bench press oh i know about this one guy and i heard about this other how many other ones okay you heard about that guy who else maybe you can name five guys name six with good lifts i bet you a million dollars i ain't gonna bet you that because you probably can and I don't want to owe you a million dollars, but nah, I'm pretty sure you cannot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Um, shoot, what else I'm gonna say? Other reasons why you might lose strength. Um, size, uh, consistency, 
um, injuries. There's a lot of reasons. Mindset, stress. Uh, there's factors that goes into this. Uh, form, form. Your form will break down. Your form is good. Let's say your form. Like my form was way better before um, the shutdown of the world. My form was way better before then. And even before then, I got videos of me, all kinds of videos of me. I'll go through my catalog, dog. Matter of fact, I'll link something below. You know? And plus, oh, another one. Not only your size, but your caloric amount. I'm in a caloric deficit. I'm losing weight. I lost 35 pounds this year, and I got another 10 pounds to lose. So, <laughs> dang, 45 pounds? That mean I bulk kind of crazy. Um, I, I would never bulk that heavy again. My goal is really like next time I um, get into a caloric surplus, my limit on how much weight I gain is probably gonna be like 185. So I'm like 175 right now, probably 10 pounds heavier than I am now. I'm gonna get down to 165. I might, I don't know. The lightest I've ever weighed as an adult was 168. And I kinda just wanna beat that. I was shredded. I'm pretty ripped right now. You know, look at my physique updates. Look at my uh, weigh-ins. Um, I teach all this stuff, man. I'm not one of them YouTubers that's gonna show his Lamborghini and all that. You know, this is a fitness YouTube channel. Look at my Lamborghini. No, we gonna talk about fitness, bro. That's the thing, people go to the channels for the wrong thing. They forget what, people go in the gym all the time and forget what they came there for. People go in the gym to not work out. People go in the gym to talk about working out. What are you here for? What is the point? What's the point? I don't personally get the point. I'm not going nowhere for no reason. Nowhere for no reason. My last time, this time I deadlifted, I chickened out at 385. The last time I deadlifted, or was it the time before? I did 405, which also was in braggable weight. But the reason why I'm not even going over 405 um, right now, I can, but I'm not doing it because I feel like my form ain't good enough to go over 405. A lot of people have told me, just go for it. Just go for it. Let me tell you the problem with that. Now, yes, to get a real good deadlift, bench press, squat, whatever, you do have to have a little bit of that in you, that just go for it attitude. You do. You got to have a little bit of that in you. I'm trying to make sure it's still recording. But uh, you got to have a little bit of that in you. But too much of that, that gripping and ripping style that I call it, that's going to get you hurt. I literally know a whole bunch of people who are hurt. And there's always going to be people that tell you something. But people that tell you usually be the people that don't even do it themselves. People that try to give me advice on how to do something. You ain't got a video showing me how you do it. Nah, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that to you. I don't go to your job. And that ain't my job. I ain't getting paid. But I'm just saying, though. Let's say you, um, you teach people about flute music. I don't ever play no flute music. I don't care if I feel like your flute music sucks. I don't know nothing about flute music. It ain't my style. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you teach flute music, and, 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 and I don't know nothing about it. I'm not going to go up to you and tell you you need to use your fingers a little bit more like this because I don't know. That doesn't make you sound smarter to talk about stuff that you don't know. Maybe it makes you sound smarter to people who also don't know. But to the people that know or even halfway know, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> But no, man, we about to get back into um, the rest of this video. Um, stay tuned for the rest of it because we got a lot of stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to probably take y'all with me. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Let me get up in the car, young Reezy dog. Hop up in a Lamborghini Civic. I, I thought you didn't like showing off your Lamborghini. Well, I guess I lied to you. I don't know, man. Huh. I'm glad I left these windows kind of cracked. Kept the sunroof open. And I parked under a little shade. It ain't that bad in here like I thought it would be. You know, you feel me, young dog? But yeah, man, we in South Carolina. It gets hot. 
One thing I, I like about South Carolina is it don't get as cold as Michigan. For those who don't know, I'm originally from Michigan. I've been in South Carolina since 2008. Um, and, and I didn't wear a jacket the first four or five years during the winter because I feel like South Carolina does not have a winter because where I'm from, it gets way below zero. I tell people all the time, man, 30, 40 degrees ain't cold when you don't touch 30 or 40 below rent chill factor and all that, you know what I'm saying? I remember one time it was a blizzard and I was waiting for the Greyhound bus. My city, Saginaw, doesn't have a Greyhound station that has Indian trails, but the Greyhound buses come there. And uh, so I think Flint got the Greyhound and then Detroit and a few other ones. But uh, yeah, man, uh, that I know of. But uh, yeah, man, um, I'm standing outside because Indian trails, they close at a certain time. You have to wait outside for the buses. The buses still come. And uh, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to buy from Walmart real quick. I really don't got much time. I got to hurry up. That's why I didn't really do my walk and talk the way I wanted to. I wanted to walk way longer than that. People that's been watching my channel, y'all know I walk like an hour, hour and a half. About an hour and a half on average, sometimes two hours. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say walking ain't cardio. But uh, I guarantee you, whoever say that, I guarantee you, I take my shirt off next to them. And you know, it'll be a night and day difference. You know what I'm saying? Let's take our shirts off then, dog. Nah, nah you don't have to. But I, I, you know, I'm willing to stand next to anybody that got something to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't worried about. I ain't worried about it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna tell you already, though. I don't get, spoiler alert. I'm gonna buy some salmon because my girl says she's gonna cook me some more salmon. Uh, I'm gonna show you how she prepares it. And uh, yeah, or I don't know. I don't know what side I really gonna use with it. Don't pull out in front of me, dog. People will pull out. Of, I've never accidents happen everywhere, but I've never seen so many accidents or been in accidents like I've been in down here. You know, no disrespect to South Carolina. It might not even be just South Carolina. It's, it might be just from my perspective and, and the years as technology goes. You know, social media. The world is about social media now, so people are on their phones. It ain't just texting. People are, you know, doing all kinds of things on their phone. Um, like right now I'm recording, but it's hands-free. You know, a lot of times when I have my camera mount, which I need to get a new one, it's hands-free. If I'm doing something, 90% of the time, if I'm doing something with my phone in my car, it's hands-free. If I'm calling somebody, hands anything, hands-free. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay safe, you know what I'm saying? All right. You get one life, bro. You get one body, you know what I'm saying? Things can happen like that. Everything that people have been through like that is most of the time the first time they ever been through it. And a lot of people think that they it won't it won't happen to me. You know, <laughs> you do something unprotected, you catch something. You do something uh, willy nilly, something happened. You blah 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 and yada 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 yada. Ooh, the color of that Hyundai is dope, kinda. I don't know if that'll be my style, but I'm going to try to show y'all. There's other people's car. I ain't going to show y'all the numbers today. But, man, if y'all... Man, this thing kind of dope for some reason. Hold on. Watch. that will be dope for my girl, man. I'll probably drive it sometimes. But I, yeah, man. I'll be looking at cars and stuff. Because I'll be like, man, when I get my bread the way I want it to be, hopefully this year. Look, see that? It's dope. I like that. It ain't my style. Nah. But I will drive it. Dog, I just broke my POV thing. That's the part that holds it. Y'all can see that. These things are flimsy. It only costed me a dollar. I think they have clearance or something. But man, I'm going to get another one if I see it. That's where I bought it from. So, God dang, yo. My next walk and talk. Hey, y'all, I'm going to get a couple of these salmons. Some nice little cuts. Get that one, and I don't know what else. I got two of them. Good source of protein. Look at my shopping videos. This ain't one, but uh, yeah, man. Watch which ones you get, cause that stuff right there, you got carbon monoxide in. It. Straight up. Yo, focus. Will y'all see that carbon monoxide? Straight up. All right, y'all. My POV thing, I can't find it. So this is basically how the POV is gonna be looking for a while, probably. 
Um, I don't know. Did I get it from this Walmart or the other one? I don't remember. But my point is the fact that. Oh, I about to say also, I took a long time trying to find it, and me and my girl we got things to do and this and that and the third blah blah blah. But she got things to do that she wants to do. But I'm gonna tell her this on video. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care why. I should care. Yeah, you're right. She don't care when I be having time for things to do. Oh, she washed my clothes the other day, and she took her merry time getting them to me. Man, long story short, I don't care. <laughs> oh, you seen my car? You see that? Oh, boy. Whoa. All right, y'all. My first meal is going to be peanut butter and jelly. High carb, high sugar, whatever. I don't care. This is pre-workout. This is before my workout. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what kind of peanut butter I'm using. Um, right here, I got PB2. And right here, I got creamy, regular peanut butter. I got the great value kind because it was a slight amount of calories less than the ones I usually use. This is 180 calories. Um, the other one I usually use is like 190. But I usually use like three tablespoons. So, you know what I'm saying? So you have to double what point up? Wait, hold on. So that would be 270. 180 plus another half of a serving. 180 is a serving, two tablespoons. So for me, three tablespoons, that's a serving and a half. So 270, I'm going to round it up. Two set, I'm going to say 280. Because I want to, at the end of my day, I'd rather be eating a little bit less calories that I'm shooting for than a little bit more. Because my maintenance calories that I'm setting, I mean, my deficit that I'm setting for myself is a slight deficit. I don't want to be eating that maintenance. I'm cutting. I'm trying to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Maintenance means you're you're eating the weight, you're eating the food, you're eating enough food is gonna keep you the same weight. Also got some 45 calorie bread. I got some 40 calorie bread too, but I ain't even opened that yet. I don't even know how good it is. First time trying that one, but I know this is pretty good. Um, also, I got some low calorie jelly, 30 calories, but I got some that's 20 calories because I've been checking my weight. Every day, like I always advise people, check your weight every day. And on a weekly basis, if you ain't losing a pound or two, or whatever you're shooting for, you can slightly, gradually cut your calories. Slightly. Right now, I'm at 2,200 calories. And I've been at 2,200 calories for like three weeks, and it's been working. But it's going to stop working. So that means I'm going to have to cut a little bit more calories if I want to get a little more leaner. So I'm going to go to 2,000 calories. So I'm already ready. You know what I'm saying? By the time I run out of this jelly, probably, I don't know. But if it's still working, I'm not gonna, nah. You don't wanna cut your calories too fast, too quick. See, I got this PB2, which is only 60 calories. Um, I'm trying to not have to eat that today. I wanna start the day off with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I wanna end the day with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So everything I have, I have in between has to meet those calorie goals. And I'll show you that later on. This is gonna be the same video because I don't think I'm gonna be able to film my workout because I'm going to work out right now and it's daytime and can't really film in the gym in the daytime. So my other gym, cool. But the gym I'm going to right now, nah. They pick and choose who they mess with too. So if I get caught, I'm gonna be like, hey, y'all let, I ain't gonna say no names. Y'all be letting people in here know what I'm saying? I was missing the point, my bad. Okay, that's 280. Plus two pieces of bread, that's 90. So 280 plus 90, that's 370. Plus, I know I'm gonna eat probably like uh, three servings of this. A tablespoon, who's gonna? You gotta look at your serving size. Don't just say, okay, if I eat this jelly, it's gonna be 30 calories. It's only 30 calories if you're eating one tablespoon. If you eat more than one tablespoon, if you eat two tablespoons, you're gonna have to double that. Same thing with anything else you eat. That's like saying I can eat this whole loaf of bread and count it as 45 calories. No, you can't do that. You gotta learn how to count your calories, man. People be talking about hidden calories. There's no such thing as hidden calories. You know what I'm saying? But um 
like your drinks, uh, your your sauces, your ranch sauce, all of that, oil, all of that. You got to count all of those things. You can't just count the physical food you're eating. You got to count what you're putting on it too. You can have a salad that's like 150 calories or less, and and pour like a thousand calories of ranch on it. You think you eat a low calorie food? You eat over a thousand some calories. You might as well have a dang cheeseburger. You better off. Yeah. Also, um, I want to say, um, a lot of people like, how do you keep up with that though? Okay, you know how many calories was in that sandwich, but throughout the day, you can write it down if you have to. You can. Rem I remember mine because I've been doing this for years. I remember how many calories it was, and when I eat my next meal, I add that on. Counting your calories, a lot of you like two two thousand calories a day, whatever. That's not a universal number. You got to find out what your calories are. Hit me up, and I help you out with that. But um. That's not even the point what I'm trying to get to. What what it means is how many calories you're eating per day, not per meal. So if you're eating 2,000 calories, if, you're, if you want to eat 2,000 calories, you don't eat 2,000 calories every time you eat. You eat three times in a day, you eat 6,000 calories. You got to add it up. It adds up. You got to add it, add everything as much as you possibly can. I ain't say you got to be a fanatic with it. But at least get to the ballpark. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? You got to be perfect, especially when you first start dieting. Go to my. I'm gonna I'm uh, post my. Uh, I'm gonna link my summer shredding playlist and watch how I was in the beginning of the diet all the way to the end and see how I gradually start cleaning up my diet. A lot of people go from all the way over here to all the way over there. Don't do that. You know. All the way from eating whatever you want to just eat, to eat as perfectly clean as you. I ain't saying you can't do it. I'm just saying I don't recommend it. And why? Because you're not going to be able to handle it. Most people, I couldn't handle it. I tried it. And I'm speaking from experience. You go from sitting on the couch, eating whatever you want all day, to I'm going to get on a diet. I'm going to eat clean. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. I can't. I. Go that route. I ain't saying you can't. I'm rooting for you. But I'm also going to tell you I told you so. <laughs> I ain't going to say that, though. But that ain't none of my business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just a suggestion, you know what I'm saying? All right. I got this Powerade sports drink. Am I going to drink this? No. Is this mine? No. My girl did my laundry, and it was in her car, so I had to go in her car and get it. But I seen this, but I wanted to make an example. You know what I'm saying? 80 calories. Per serving, there's 2.5 servings in the container. So if you're gonna drink this whole bottle, which most likely, if I was gonna drink it, if I was gonna drink this, I'd drink the whole bottle. You can't count that as 80 calories. You gotta multiply that by 2.5. A lot of people are eating way more calories than they think because they're not really counting their calories right. I mean, it's simple. A lot of people always common sense. You shouldn't have told us it, but, but a lot of people don't know or a lot of people don't realize. You know what I'm saying? It's simple stuff, but you just got to add out throughout the day. You know, my my uh, rules for drinks, what do you drink, dude? I drink water, man. Low calorie or no calorie is my is my rule for drinks for me. I drink some low calorie things. My thing is this. If I got a lot of calories left over, um, I'd rather, like, at the end of the day, at the very end, like, this is the beginning. At the very end of my day, if I got calories left over, I'm shooting for 2,200 calories. If I got, like, if I'm good it's if i'm at 1700 18 19 20 200, 200 i got a couple calories left you know what i'm saying so i could but i rather i would rather just eat food so i don't drink my calories that's just my recommendation don't drink your calories you know what i'm saying um if you if you want to you can do whatever you want to do but i'm just saying if you're shooting for a certain amount of calories you're not going to be able to eat a lot of food and still drink high calorie drinks i rather eat a lot of food Stay full, stay satisfied, which helps me keep to my diet. That's why I've been teaching people how to eat in volume in my last cooking videos. But yeah, man, let's go back and put these clothes in the house. I think my workout shorts is in there. Oh, my Naruto shirt up in there. Got some stuff, bruh. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna go get my water. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do before the gym. All right. All right, this doesn't have anything to do with calories right here, but I wanna tell y'all, uh, hopefully, I'm gonna show y'all these two different type of shoes that I got, but hopefully, and why? Uh, hopefully I'm able to film some of the workout. I'm probably gonna do deadlifts, which I use these for deadlifts. Uh, I use these for everything in the gym, really. These are for my cardio. 
There's two different types of, you do not want shoes like this when you're deadlifting. You want a flat, uh, slim bottom, something that you feel like you're on the floor. You know, old school bodybuilders and powerlifters, they, they, they worked out barefoot when it came to deadlifts, which is even better. But I don't, nah, I'm about to catch foot fuckers or nothing like that. But yeah, man, I think I did a video about like the difference between the shoes and stuff and why. I don't know if it was a full video about that, but let's go hit the gym, man. Hopefully, that's why I'm making this video about counting calories instead of working out because I might not be able to show y'all my workout, unfortunately. It's just how the cookie crumbles, man. But yeah, man, a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Like, dog, don't tell me how to do something that you don't even do. Like, come on, man. It always be the people that don't even do it. Yeah. Change your calories, everything. If I was to listen to you and I know that I know what I'm doing and you don't know what you're doing, then I'm hustling back. Like, come on, bro. No, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> let's go, man. I had a trash truck picking up my trash. Yeah, buddy. Got some nasty stuff in there. Nah. I got my shoes on. I'm not going to only deadlift if I deadlift. My uh, right hip was kind of hurting my last deadlift session. And that's another reason why people be like, oh, you must have been doing it wrong. or this. No, people have things in their life, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm almost a 40-year-old man. Believe it or not, I'm young. I look young because I take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? But believe it or not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know how to listen to my body. I know how to, I'm the main person that's not going to do it wrong. I'm the main person that's going to put it down if it don't feel right. If you've been watching my channel, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And also, you know, if you think you do it better than me, then show me yours. Show me yours then. You know, it's the people that, oh, they'll judge yours, but they ain't going to show you theirs. Like, come on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding because there's a lot of people like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, oh, that's all I hear when you talk. Oh. All right, y'all. I know y'all like, man, is he going to go to the gym? Yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. I want to show y'all one more thing. A lot of people be spending $100 on a water bottle to keep your water cold for like five days. I'm not going to have my water for five days. I don't need it cold for five days. I'll save some money real quick. All right, I take a gallon of water, and I, I freeze like half of it. The rest of this is empty. show you what I do. I have cold water all day full gallon right here basically i open it then i pour it in there and then the rest of it is going to be half left and i put that in the freezer for later bam cold water all day every day by the way this water costs 60 cents at walmart pour that while i'm on camera focus man fully focused man 60 cent man how much you keeping your water cold for dog I want one of them bottles, man. Keep my water cold for five days. You gonna have that water for five days. Now, you're not a hydrated person. I am. I'm, I, shoot, I'm super duper. All right, it's 9, 12 a.m. So I don't know how packed the gym gonna be. Hopefully not that packed. But go ahead and take my pre-workout. I'm on that Mr. High Extreme Pixie Dust flavor. A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't do that and this and that and the third. Like I say, all you people that don't do stuff, no, 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 no. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. You got to have the energy for the gym. I mean, you, everybody workout is different. Everybody workout is a different intensity. Um, if you go in there and you do some baby stuff, you can't tell nobody. It's a big difference, all right? There's levels. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm at the top level in the world, but it always be people on way level, lower levels than me. Not too more horn, but they be the ones telling you, the ones who know don't talk and the ones who talk don't know a thing. The ones who pop the most be the ones who's not together. Always. And it, it kills me, man. I shouldn't even address that that much because the 90% of the people that ain't like that be like, why are you even giving them the time of day? Because, man, they, they physically get in the way and they physically do this and do that. But let's, that's enough of that, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. All right, we at the gym. I got my water. I got my belt. I talk about the belt in different videos. I tell y'all all the time that the belt is not a safety tool. It does not keep you safe from bad form. But this is, I'm gonna show you the parking lot. This is what I hate. It's a few empty spots, but still, like, this is what I hate. 
some gym full of people that's gonna tell you what to do and try to tell you what to do and try to talk to you and people say oh bother when they're literally physically in your way and, and and coming up to you while you trying to focus and lifting some heavy weights that's dangerous if you don't lift weights then i don't expect you to understand some people lift weights and say oh it doesn't bother me at all but then you see them lift they lift either lightweight or either they lift heavyweight but they don't care about their form they don't care about their safety they're asking for injury so you know i'm not saying you got to be scared they have to do everything perfect either but you got to find that happy medium you know what i'm saying yes you got to cross that line but at the end of the day you don't want to go too far across that line you know i guarantee you people that don't agree with me i lift heavier than them you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna tell nobody how to do something that i don't do if you're a lion tamer, I'm not going to tell you how to tame lions. You shouldn't listen to me. I've never done it before. <laughs> It'll be a fatal mistake. <laughs> people have died lifting weights too. Or been badly. I know people that's injured for the rest of their life lifting weights the wrong way. And guess what I told them? I told them I told you so. <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell you. I told you so. But I'm 174 pounds. Let's see how much above my body weight am I going to lift. Triple? I don't know. Somebody will be in my spot. 